Hello, this is Andy Ford from Andy Ford Video, and today we're going to look at creating an expression to change the font on a text layer. So here we have a composition with one text layer with the word font on it. The font happens to be Arial Regular. We'll troll down under text and create an expression by option clicking on a Mac or all clicking on a PC, the stopwatch by source text. And what we want to do is add an array. So first we need to create a variable and name our array. Let's call it font array. So this will be with a lowercase f and a capital A, and it's going to equal all our potential fonts within the brackets. You'll have to write in the font name exactly as it appears. So to do that, we can click on the little triangle in the expression language menu here. We'll go down to text and then select font. You can choose from a font and hit OK, and the font name will appear properly. Add a comma and then add your next font. You can add a lot of fonts, but keep in mind that this gets tedious. Also note that you can add any weight of a font that's available. I've gone ahead and added five fonts. Now to set the value of the font, we'll type style dot set font, lowercase s, capital F. Then in parentheses goes the variable of our array. And in brackets is the value we want in the array. Remember, arrays, the first line is zero, second line is one, and so on. With zero selected, we'll call it the Arial font. If I change it to one, we'll see the Bembo font, and so on. But to make this better, we could link our value to a slider control. Let's type a variable for our slider control. Let's do V for value. And then we'll want to type in math.round, math with a capital M, before we link to our slider control. This is because in an array, we need a round number value. Now we can go to effects, expression control, slider control. Now we can pick whip to the slider control. And now we just have to replace the number in our brackets here with the new variable V. And now our font is controlled by the value of the slider. At one, we're getting Bembo. At two, we're getting Montserrat Bold. Now you can simply create keyframes on your timeline. So here's a simple animation, scrolling through the fonts and back. Thank you.